officially movie premiere. It's another movie titled Unforgivable by Dayo Amosa. It features Mike Azaranye and our own Desmond Elliott. I just can't wait to see all the glitz and glam, and I advise you to stay glued to your television set. My name is Hawa. on the red carpet of Unforgivable. You know how I love to be on the red carpet. I have a great actor with me and I am so happy that he's wearing a suit. You know, I thought he was going to wear a badder for a minute. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm okay. So, um, how did you put all this together? Who dressed you? Capital Judy dressed me. I bought them. Just look at it. and said, okay, let's put it on and let's go. That's all. Really? So, um, have you watched the trailer of Unforgivable? A lot of times I've watched it. So what do you think about the movie? I've not seen it yet, but I know something good. Dayam, Daya Musa has been doing wonderfully well. She's a colleague of mine and she's doing well. I don't expect anything less. When you saw Desmond Elliott and Mike and Zoraye to act unforgivable, did you think anything for a second? I can say that they're both my friends. Mike and Desmond were friends. And I know that they quite speak you about. Okay, Mike could speak better than Desmond. And um, talking about the acting, I know they have courage, they have what it takes, you know, the delivery is there. So forget, regardless whatever language, they still got I mean, what it takes to be that actor they are. So fantastic. Hey, I'm to go to to so for me no, she be on she maltreat your way. So Danny, was very wrong. Family me, I want to know what. Do you know? Is it true? No, sorry, lads. It's so funny we pay. Cause things got hard this year, so. Who are we to blame now? Well, I must confess, I just watched the movie and tears almost rolled or even rolled down my eyes. I tried my best to control it because I didn't want you guys to see me ugly. But you know, Dayo Amosa, I must confess, the movie was amazing. It was amazing. Thank you. Where, first of all, I want to know, where did you get such inspiration from? Because the way you acted it, it, it got to me like it was inside my bone marrow. How did you get such inspiration? Um, it's. Like I said earlier, um, domestic violence is something that is so rampant in our society these days. And um, I've, wit I've witnessed one or two situations and then I was like, okay, what can I do? I, I, like a kind of campaign against domestic violence against women and girls out there. I guess that is uh, the main inspiration behind the story itself. Yeah, the story also involved cancer. You think um, we don't have enough awareness about cancer in Nigeria or something? Um, yes, one. Then secondly, I think the majority of we women, even men as well, we don't take time to, to you know, we don't, we are not always conscious of our health. And when it gets, when we get little, little symptoms about probably a health headache or something, we are so nonchalant about it that we go on self-medication, not even knowing the level at which the thing has actually gone. So I would um, advise women out there, ladies out there, men out there, that um, when you start having unnecessary pains around your body, on your head, any part of your body, seek a medical advice. Two amazing personalities that I will say brought the success about this Unforgivable. I have the DP and I have the director. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm good. Well, the director, as you know, is Desmond Elliott. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. And yourself? I 
must ask you, when you were on set of this movie, did you at any point cry? Because I cried in there. Did you at any point on set? Uh, yeah, no, I, I felt it. I didn't cry, but I felt it. And beat. I was almost in tears. I had to hold back, so, you know, so I don't spend my makeup. But if you can see my eyes properly, I actually, I was actually crying in there. Like, I cried. Yeah, I did. I won't lie. Oh my God, the movie is truly unforgivable. It's awesome. As in, I, I, I forgot that I myself am an actress. I almost cried. I was like, ah. The people in that movie, all the cast and um, the director, the cameraman, they are all sick. They are too real for me. Yes. Because it takes a mad person to act as real as that. Yeah. Mike Ezeria is a sick actor. That was too real for me. It's it's a wow. It's I don't know. It's beautiful. All of us in um, Dio uh, met. She said she had she wanted something that could touch on that could explain the cancer, one of the cancerous diseases that has been falling women down, and then use that opportunity to like preach also against some of the abuse that women suffer in their marriages and. But she wanted this in an entertainment script, so we had to, two of us had to sit down, dig deep, and here's the result. Well, finally, it's a wrap of Unforgivable, the movie that addresses cancer, addresses women violence. It's something that is passionate and something that has made me so, so low. I feel so sad. In fact, watching that movie, I almost cried. A movie directed by Desmond Elliott, acted by Dayo Amosa, Mike Ezeroye, and Desmond Elliott. It was a fantastic movie. So I advise you, watch it. And this is Village Square. My name still remains Hawa.